In this tech tip, we'll cover chassis tweak on the X1222 and how we can counter it. So, what can make the car tweaked? How can we set it up to have perfect tweak before the run? And uh, what other adjustments should you keep in mind? Uh, the chassis tweak mostly is determined by the rear side springs. So the preload on the side springs, but also the front droop, the ride height and the tire size. Everything is influencing each other basically. But the first thing you need to do when you have a brand new car like this is to tighten your side springs until they barely touch the chassis. So tighten them all the way down and check both sides that you have a slight preload on each side spring. Because that's a good basic setting for most conditions. If you add too much preload on the side springs, the car will be very direct to drive, very initially responsive, and it can be uh, causing you some handling issues. On the other hand, if you don't have enough preload on the side springs, if the springs are not touching the chassis, that can make the car inconsistent. So you need to have just the right amount of uh, preload on the side springs. In this case, just a slight preload is the best basic setting for most conditions. But if you feel that the car is a bit lazy or um, you want it to respond quicker initially, you can add a bit more preload to the side springs. Uh, of course, if you don't want to go up in spring rate for the side spring, you can go to a stiffer spring because the kit springs are gold springs. But you also have the option to go to the optional black springs, for example, which I recommend for higher grip tracks such as on the CRC black carpet. And if you race on lower bike tracks or you need to make the car roll around more, you can try the silver side springs, which are the optional silver soft side springs. But let's see how we can tweak the car before the run. Um, I'm gonna use a hoodie tweak station. A hoodie quick tweak station. Before we put it on the quick tweak station, we need to make sure that the ride height is perfect everywhere. Like I've shown in my pod droop, rear ride height and front ride height videos. I've shown you how to set the ride height on the car. So this is already all set, it's perfect and ready to go. Um, the final check before going to the track is to put it on the quick tweak station. So how do we set this up? We put the front part of the quick tweak, quick tweak station on the rear part of it and we try to center this bubble here in the, in the little water lever which is mounted inside of the pit of the tweak board. And we try to center this bubble here. So this bubble should be right in the center. And this of course has to be adjusted because not all tables are flat and not all setup boards are perfectly flat. So make sure that you always adjust this quick tweak station before you put the car on it. Okay, that's perfectly straight. Put this in here, and this is gonna be set at around 195 millimeters, which is long enough for a 12 scale car. This quick tweak station can also be used for touring cars and 10 scale pan cars, and basically all 10 scale and 12 scale cars. So it has a very universal use. We then throw the car on here. and make sure that it's perfectly centered. And we're then gonna do the same in the front. It's very important that it's perfectly centered on the, on the quick tweak station. And now I look for the front bubble here. So even if the bubble is in the middle or close to the middle, you still need to sort of check the suspension travel to both sides to see how the, bu the uh, bubble returns to center. So especially when you're running soft side springs in the rear with little or no preload, 
it's not really gonna center itself very well because it's so soft. So what I do then is I try to push each side to sort of see how it centers from both sides. So for example, if, if the bubble centers well from this side but not the other side, it means that there's not enough preload on this spring here. So I'm gonna add some preload on that side and remove preload on this side. And this is gonna make the bubble center more equally from both sides. Since this car, this car is new, I didn't really tweak it before, so it might need a bit more adjustments than what is normally required. But now it's starting to get really close because the bubble is the bubble is centering fairly well from both sides. Just a tiny bit more preload here. As you can see now, it's really centering um, almost identically on both sides. This means that the car is straight. So what if you have to adjust a lot on the preload to make it straight? What can be the problem then? Perhaps you need to check for bent parts in the car. You need to look for uh, the chassis being bent. If you had a big crash, check the rear pod, the, especially the lower pod plate. Um, check that your side springs are not damaged or twisted in any way. Make sure that you're not running too big of a difference in tire sizes between left and right. And of course, the front droop is very important that it's perfectly set before you put it on the tweak board. You may need to adjust the front droop by adding or removing shims under the front springs so that it's completely equal. Otherwise, that will have a big influence on this tweak as well. So now this is all perfect on the tweak board and this car is ready to go on the track. But as I said, the tweak is mainly set with the preload on the side springs. Having said that, the front droop and the right hand is already perfectly set. And that's all that I had on chassis tweak for the X12-22.